Master 64 is out, there's something important going on. Last time, it was a fair lady, and we spoke to the Holy Oracle to cheer Sun himself. But, today I have a little story to tell you. It's about the turbos and wastegates. Listen. No one's... <laughs> okay. Once upon a time, there was a G3770. And he was over here, enjoying his life, drifting through the wilderness. But then along came a G25660. And she, and, and she was over here doing her swifty things. The G770 saw the G25 and something happened. They found that they were good together as a compound setup. One fed the other and the result was good. But then time progressed and they wanted more. Thus the wastegate was born. But do not think that this is a measly little wastegate. In due time, in nine months to be precise. Sort of cut up. <laughs> How good is it to see Content Master 64 again? It has definitely been a while. His yearly appearance seems to always be a blessing. But in all seriousness, guys, we do have something very, very, very exciting to talk to you guys about today. Where are you? The woman of the hour, I guess? No, of the woman, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. May obviously has a big part in this video. And uh, I'm gonna let you take this over because I do enough talking on the vlog. So May, why don't you tell the people what we're telling them? Pregnant. That's right. <laughs> we have a, our family's growing. It's actually super exciting and not this family for once. <laughs> we have another human being growing inside of me. Literally something's growing inside of you now. You can actually say that. <laughs> Anyways, do you want to show the people your baby bump? This is 20 weeks in the making right now, guys. It might not look like much, but she's, I'm mean, sorry, he actually. Yes. Yeah. He. It's a boy, 20 weeks. We got the, I'm, I'm pretty look, I'm pretty happy about that. We got a boy right off the bat. Um, little drifter baby in there for yes, sure. It's clutch kicking a lot. It is. Uh, the a doctors lot. have said it's like super ganky, super energetic, and it's just like doing donuts in there like all the time, so. Yeah. yeah, I know some of you guys have been really, really smart. You've picked up on some things like May wearing baggy clothes for a while. Like we've kept this uh, pretty well hidden. I think you've done a really good job of hiding the baby bump too. Thank you. Uh, wearing a lot of baggy clothes, hoodies and stuff like that. But it was definitely hard in the first couple weeks, um, especially like 10 weeks after that, like all the morning sickness and stuff, like FD round, May was like pretty much puking oh, yeah. while trying to film. Like it was, was, Sugo was so hard. That was <laughs> like, oh, Sugo was insane. Projected. Oh, projectile vomited? Yeah. Like, straight. Oh, really? It was straight? It was good that good? Yeah, it was. I don't know, I was just drifted. I was on the track driving yeah. that time and she came and told me, like, I just... It was a good distraction for me from feeling sick. Honestly, it was so hard for me to be focused too because of everything going on, so... Yeah. It, it was insane. Anyways, anyways, but, yes. anyways yeah. We got a baby coming along. We got a baby coming. March. 
March is the due date, early March. So we're Just all perfect because yeah. no FD round. No FD. Okay. FD starts a month after that. So we'll have plenty of time. And I just want to quickly butt in and make sure that you guys know that. Um, yes, we will be probably taking some needed time off during that period and I'm sure a lot of you guys will understand and everything But also at the same time, this isn't gonna change uh, For the majority of my content schedule or anything like that now Obviously things have to change around the house and stuff like that But we're very very blessed and fortunate that May's parents are both pretty much retired um, And uh, with Japanese culture and things like that. It's actually like super super good how much like uh, uh, May's parents will be helping us and whatnot. So it's gonna be amazing and a huge help. So I'm excited about that. There's gonna be probably a lot more family oriented content kind of stuff, like getting mixed in with everything as well and life in Japan because of everything that's changing there and whatnot. But obviously the main content is the main content and that is here to stay. So I just wanna make sure you guys understand that. Um, but I hope you're also excited because yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, first of many to come. First How many cars do I have right now? 14? So how many kids do we want? Oh boy. <laughs> For real though, I don't know if May could handle more than two just because of how big I am and how small she is and how big the baby is growing and how rapidly it is. Like I'm a bit worried there's gonna be a leg hanging out or something soon, like it's getting big real fast. Anyways, so yeah, that's our exciting news and we are so excited to share it with you guys. I don't really know how to do this. Like, What do you, what do you guys feel of that Sam becoming a dad? I think I'm gonna smash it. Smash it? <laughs> yeah, like like in a good way. I'm not gonna smash my child. <laughs> oh, we just got demonetized. Uh, that's like some Ray William Johnson kind of theme stuff. Did you ever watch that? And you throw the, the doll against the wall. Yes. Anyways, um, that just showed my age. But yeah, I'm really excited about becoming a dad. I'm really excited about that new journey and everything. And if it's anything like anything else I've done in my life, when it's something new and I, hit the ground running, deep end kind of stuff, just throwing myself in there. Mm -hmm. I normally do pretty well, so I'm excited for that new challenge. And I think yeah. May's excited about being a mum too, for a swift and a real human being. <laughs> you know what's funny? What? Let's go have a look at the swift. Why? Because there's a, <laughs> we didn't know this until we actually looked at it. I mean, you didn't know this. Well, I didn't know this. I knew this. Oh, you bought that for that reason? I didn't buy it for that reason. I was like, oh, that's a bonus because we need that soon. <laughs> so this is probably not going to be the main like car that we obviously use for, you know, transporting the child around and stuff. But, but it does have the uh, points in here, yeah. which is for a specific type of Japanese uh, car uh, car seat for babies. So yeah. that's actually really, really yeah, handy. That's really good. Yeah. Okay, that no wonder it come, became. Yes, and also it came with this sticker, so we kept kind of joking about this in the vlogs, but it was actually like so, so accurate because, I mean, 20 weeks now you've been pregnant and we haven't told anyone, so. 20 weeks, 20 more weeks to yeah. come, eh? Mind you, May's been killing it. She's been super active, so good job, babe. Yeah. Smash Are you going to tell them about all the dad jokes you've been telling everyone? Oh, so I've been dropping hints for a long time, like even on my Instagram and stuff, and I know some of you guys have been really smart and picking up on it, but I started saying and purposely dropping a lot of dad jokes in the vlogs and, and like joking that like, oh, I need to practice. Um, and some of you guys got the subtle hint, some of you guys didn't. I know I saw a couple comments every now and then of people going, yo, I think May's pregnant. But like, yeah, it was just really cool to like kind of find ways to tell you but not tell you at the same time but yeah this is us officially telling you <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. i've never done one of these videos before and i have no so idea weird. what to say it's so weird, it's so weird. <laughs> but you know us like we always like having fun and we wanted to somehow incorporate um turbos car and car parts and content master 64 into us telling you so I hope you're really excited as much as we are and I just want to encourage each and every one of you guys like even if you don't have a heart for kids or family or anything like that right now but I hope you do in the future and um, yeah I'm just excited to bring another like a child into everything that we're doing like not only at home as a family and stuff and our relationship but like obviously all of this as well and I think it's super exciting to know that Potentially, obviously, depending on what they decide that they want to do with themselves and in the future, but potentially I can leave this all to someone and I think that's awesome. So, yeah, I'm excited and I'm getting a little emotional. This is great. You're crying. I'm not crying. No. Here you are. Uh, on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, we're, so, we're pregnant. Boy, I don't know what to say. Yeah, yeah, let us know. I mean, I was like, Naruto Uzumaki, let's oh, go, oh, but no. no, that's too weeb. 
Sasuke. We actually have a name probably picked out. We just we just we're just How thinking about, about it, letting it roll off the tongue of it. How about Zenki and Koki? No, that was my idea. I said that. I said let's call the first child Zenki and the second Koki. one Koki. Koki but then if we are, if we have a third one, what are we gonna call it? Neo, Neo six. six. <laughs> All right, guys. So let me know down in the comment section if you're as excited as us. Um, throw in some, some good names too, because like we're still trying to figure out names and whatnot. We just found out the sex like last week, yeah. which was super awesome. And we've never really been the kind of people to be like big about like the whole like gender reveal or anything like that. We really just wanted to kind of just make a vlog and tell you and be as normal and as us as possible, <laughs> if that makes sense. How big is the baby right now? What did the app say? Uh, 300 grams? 300 grams? Dang. Yeah. And then, like... What's this 300 grams the size of? Is that like this? Is that pretty accurate? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Oh, I uh, so, 300 grams. Yeah. So, yeah, it's getting big. After like 20, uh, sorry, uh, 80 weeks, it's crazy. It starts growing rapidly? It starts growing rapid. I had, I jolted the other day while sleeping. Cause it started, like, he started kicking. And like, <laughs> Yeah, it's funny, like, at this point, I still haven't felt the baby kick, but like, May gets woken up in the middle of the night, and then I'm like, oh, I put my hand to try and feel it, and it just does nothing, I'm like, oh. Yeah. Although what's funny is when we go in the K van and stuff and we rev it a bit. Oh, when we were revving the engine the other day, he got excited and started kicking, kicking May. And I, I said he was clutch kicking. Yeah. So, so, He's gonna be a little drifter. He, he probably probably most likely. Is. Most likely. Yeah. Yeah. How old? How old will you let me start teaching him? Whenever he can. Reach the Reach pedals. the pedals? Well, if he's anything like my jeans, he's gonna be reaching them pedals real early with these long legs. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I think uh, from here, I think we have a few things that we wanna show you around the uh, HQ that have changed and stuff like that for today. Today's video is obviously gonna be mainly just about this announcement and just super chill and relaxed before we get into some other car content later on in the week, which is really exciting. We got some guests and people visiting from the USA, which will be good. Let me know any parenting advice. Yeah, any parenting advice, like we'll go through the comments and read everything. Obviously we'll pick and choose stuff that we think will apply to our situation. Like, <laughs> but like, yeah, obviously we're new to this. We don't really like, the, the, everyone's different. So like, I feel like everyone's pregnancy, like, you yeah, know, experience and, and stuff different. Yeah, his personality yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah so yeah. Like good. if this kid has any part of my personality, Whew, I'm gonna get gray hairs real fast because I definitely gave my dad a hard time, that's for sure. If he's watching this, he's gonna be probably laughing. <laughs> Anyways, so we have something actually really exciting to show you at the HQ. So uh, you want to do, let's, let's go do that? Yeah. Yeah, and don't worry, it's not, it's not another baby. Not yet, at least. <laughs> All right, so we need to go out the front because we had a nice little visit today from our friends at Coca-Cola we got our very own Coca-Cola vending machine here. So for the time being, we haven't really picked what we want in there. They've just put the generic stuff in there. We're gonna try a few things and see what we like and eventually we'll change it up. But uh, yeah, we got our own Coca-Cola vending machine. Look, you got the Georgia coffee thing. Yeah, I know, we got Georgia. Um, and I'm gonna ask them to put Georgia the premium in once we've had it for a bit. But everything's like the standard pricing here. Um, that's weird, I wonder why those are like empty. Oh, probably because it discolors. That's right, they stopped doing that because it turns oh. yellow in the sun. Look, it's Jimmy. Oh yeah, BTS guys are there. But yeah, right now we have Coca-Cola, obviously. We've got apple juice, we've got the grape Fanta, we've got the peach flavored water, water, green tea, uh, black coffee. Uh, this is like, a, I guess, equivalent to like a latte in a can. Um, it's actually really good. Emerald Mountain's like a good place to start. And then I think we have like yuzu tea. Or is that yeah, yuzu, yuzu tea? tea uh, this is green tea again, just a smaller size. And then like, that's yeah. a cafe au lait, right? And black coffee so, again. Yeah, I mean, every season, like the new stuff come in and all yeah. that, so. But yeah. we'll also be able to pick a certain amount in there ourselves. So you can get this there and then the shop. Yep, right and the there. shop will be right here. So. so plans for this is we're gonna get like a nice big sign up the top there. I'm hoping for some like cool neon sign or something, but we'll see. Um, and we definitely want to get some new doors on here because these are like really old-fashioned Japanese ones. Oh, ooh, what's that? Oh yeah, what is that? Ooh, that's another thing we need to talk about. Let's go. We're in the retail store now and we have a new drop coming this weekend and I'll let the girls show you.
So as you would have just seen, we have a new drop coming this Friday at 4 p.m. EST. And probably my all time favorite designs. What do you think, May? Are they like the best? Yeah, I like this one. Yeah. So this is Resurrecting the Dead and the Japanese is actually super cool as well. How do you say it in Japanese, May? Kishikaise. Kishikaise, right? It sounds like a... Like, like a bankai kind of like yeah, move, something. right? It's a sky semi. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's super cool. Um, so yeah, we've got the kanji there coming down the sleeve as well. So we've obviously done these shirts before, which I've brought back. We've got tons of stock, well, limited actually because of supply chain issues, we couldn't go all out. Um, but this is all we could get in the time being. And we did hoodies as well. But my two favorite new designs of all time are the I Want Problems Always shirt, which is, it's meant for anyone with an SR, but if you don't have an SR, I'm sure you also understand. Like just as a car guy, I feel like we do this to ourselves. Like we hate problems, but we modify our cars, which makes our cars more unreliable. So it's almost like we want problems in our life. And uh, obviously I themed this off the SR that blew up in my pink S15 due to the bore issue. So you can see like there's a piston kind of missing in this bore. These three are good. We've got the, the rocker shims that cause problems and rockers that pop off and all that kind of stuff and the damaged piston here. So yeah, yeah super cool. Nice. I love it. Dang. And then this one's I think my favorite though. Yeah, this has it. to be like my all time favorite. Yeah. It's called abandonment issues. Now, normally, right, when people think about that, they think about like daddy issues or stuff like that, right? Or like, you know, you know what I mean? Okay. But I liked this because I always like thinking of like certain words to throw on that are kind of corny and fun, but abandoned cars, right? Abandonment issues, because every time I see an abandoned car, and I think a lot of the people like you guys watching the channel, if you see an abandoned car, what's the first thing you want to do? You want to save it. Yeah. You want to just take it. And even if you can't work on it for six, 10 years, you'll still take it, put it in the back of your shed and keep it there until you can work on it, right? So we all, as car enthusiasts, have abandonment issues because yeah. we will buy an abandoned car in a heartbeat if we can and save it. Yeah. So that's why they're all here, yeah. just like this. So yeah, we got the 32 four door. We've got the um, uh, S15 Sylvia that we obviously got in the shop and we've got the Evo TME RS. Super, super yeah. cool. I, I, just, I like it. It's like jerky and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's grungy look. Yeah, the grungy kind of emo punk look. I yeah. love it. It's awesome. Yeah, so make sure you don't miss yes. out. Yes, don't dropping. miss out. This we literally don't have much stock, guys. Like, this is all we have of abandonment issues. I'm going to show you right now. And then uh, this is all we have here of the uh, SR20 I Want Problems Always. And that's purely because of the times that we live in right now with supply chain issues like it is so hard to get mass quantities of stuff made right now just because like the fabrics and stuff like that are very hard to come by and just like it, it takes so long right now so we're doing our best and uh all i'm trying to say is don't sleep like don't actually sleep on this you don't want to miss out but yeah that's that Merch is all done. All the HQ support packs have been sent out. Some of you guys were lucky enough to get Pokemon cards and some other random stuff we were throwing in there. Um, and yeah, so, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, and thank you for coming to here and checking stuff out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Some, some guys on day one were out here and they put their stickers on the front. Actually, let me show you this because the guys who visited put their stickers here. And uh, what's actually crazy is I'm really good friends with the person who runs this drift team, Dan. And uh, anyone in the drift scene in Australia knows Hogs, the Hogs Breath sponsored car. Now I don't think they work with Hogs Breath anymore, but this is the Twisted Villains drift team and they've got like all their cars and different stickers here. This is like an R34 Ute, by the way. This is Dan's car, I believe. It's super cool. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, it was just really cool. A a location, probably inside. Yeah, I, to be honest, yeah, yeah. Stuff. To be honest, we're gonna have something is, like that. Until this doing... door gets replaced, this is free game for all of you. So if you wanna come here and stick your sticker on this wall, on this, on, on just on the glass, all right guys? Just on the glass and down here. So on this door, come, free reign. I don't mind, seriously. Because eventually we're gonna put a brand new like yeah, automatic what... opening door and stuff like that. It needs to happen soon. And, and in that, in, in... But not on the new ones. Not on the new. Well, the new one, I wouldn't mind if the bottom was done, no. to be honest. No, I, I mean, I may, may need, okay guys, I'll something figure something out for you, don't worry. She'll come in time. But yeah, that's true. We should do something where when we redo the bench, we might have like perspex down the bottom there so, so um, that people can stick their stickers on who visit. So that's probably what we'll do in the future. But for now, this door is free reign. If I come back tomorrow morning and there's just like, someone's done like a graffiti mural there, that'll be sick.
<laughs> but seriously though, only on this door because we're replacing this and uh, we probably don't want to get it on the freshly painted renovated walls. So that's pretty much all the updates for the HQ and uh, ourselves. Hope you guys are excited. Can't wait to see some of you guys rolling in with those tours. I know you all got your golden tickets and stuff and mm. some people have already been booking. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's Which is really, really exciting. exciting. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. excited to have a lot of you guys out here. Um, also, just a quick reminder, if you did get a golden ticket and you wanna like post it on Instagram and tag us, that's great. I really, really wanna see that, but make sure your ticket isn't showing the back of it. That's just for you so that you can book your tour and only those who get the golden ticket should see the back of it. So just a heads up there, but yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching guys. Smash that like button, write a comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Jamata.